Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design, it's a it's a very basic design that I'm probably gonna be making for all the events. It's a cool way to make a butterfly. So um the idea of this design is to use less balloons as possible and make it super fun. The idea to make this design. I've been making for years um a very cool, it's like a butterfly wand, and that is a design that I learned by watching Jonaimi. She's a really good balloon twister and she has awesome tutorials, Jonaimi, right? Uh, but I was thinking, well, let's change it. Let's look for something just um, different so then you don't get bored, right? I always have been looking for butterflies and I know there's a lot of fun designs and this is one of these, I hope you like it. You tell me in the comments, what do you think? It kind of, for me, I, I think it's fun to make it. <laughs> So that's another good thing. You have to find a design that, you know, it's fun for you to make it, that with practice you can make it much faster. And this can be great for line twists, especially because you're gonna use two balloons and then a balloon scrap, like half of a regular balloon. This is a 160 and you can use a 260 or a 160. This balloon scrap that is halfway the regular um, 160, you just, Inflate it, no more than three finger long, tie it, and then you're gonna just push half of the air to this side, to the end, like this. Ooh. Now you're gonna have this. Now this already might be taking long, right? Might be taking time, but you can always, one thing, it's avoid making antennas, you don't have to make them. You can always just grab a balloon scrap, for example, this one, Puff air, that's it, tied it, and then you just split it in half, and this can be pretty much antennas. So that's another choice. So now let's see. What is the main balloon? The design is the butterfly. So I'm thinking, whatever you're gonna use for the wings, you better inflate it like three finger tail, approximately. Okay, whatever you're gonna use for the wings, Three finger tail, like you think that is gonna be the. Oh, I haven't shown you the design, but you have it there all the time in the corner. So look, this is the idea. This was the first attempt, second attempt, and you can play with colors. So this is more Halloweeny, this is more cute, like for Princess or Easter. You can play with turquoise colors, but um, two colors will be great. Now, if you have balloon scraps, this is another cool thing. You can play with balloon scraps because this can be scraps, scraps, and other scraps, order all these scraps. So the longest balloon for sure you will need, it's gonna be the one pink in this case, but it can be any color. So in this case too, it's gonna be a pink one, like three fingers approximately, okay? Now, with that balloon, you're gonna uh, first um, just consider this is gonna be the wing, but this, the purple one or any color that in this case was the purple one here and here too, you have to make this shape. So what is that shape? Let's start it. First, this balloon is gonna be inflated like six finger tail, okay? Like six finger or seven finger tail, because you're gonna make a lot of twist. So with practice, you're gonna be, you know, already know. Oh, okay, got it, I know that twist. So it's like three finger long, another three finger bubble, twist it together, and then three finger long, three finger long, twist it together, and then you can go and make a loop, approximately six finger loop, no more, six finger loop, bam, another six finger loop, bam, so this already starts looking like a butterfly, okay? So this can be a one balloon butterfly. Then from here, you're gonna measure three finger long, no more, or even less, two finger long, and then you're gonna make another two or three finger bubble, but this one pinch twist, and then one more, three or two finger bubble, pinch twist, and then you're just gonna go down with another two and a half or three finger bubble, the same as this one. So this idea already can be a very cute butterfly. With the rest, you can always lose some air and you can just leave a one bubble and just tie it and you just pass this around. So that's gonna be making things more stable to keep there a bubble. So this is what you have. 
and it's kind of pretty much how it's gonna still looking until the, the end this okay so the thing is if you want this to be a one butterfly you just twist this this way and it's one balloon butterfly you can make here the eyes or here and this can represent antennas so I'm gonna just do it and see how it looks you will see uh, I don't know if it's easier for you to see the black sharpie so I'm gonna show you so this will be in this occasion if the design is just only one balloon I'm making I'm gonna show you where are the eyes and the smiley face there and then from here you can just pretend you draw antennas and that can be a one balloon butterfly pretty much but we're gonna make in this side I guess that what is gonna be the, our two balloon butterfly and one extra so you have something like that the thing is this pinch twist is better if it's in the back so that's why I'm doing this and this is the front okay so we have this we want to use another balloon so now make sure you inflate your balloon in my case it's gonna be a pink I'm using these pastels I found on Amazon in my Amazon wish list is not any famous popular brand so it's just three finger long you are gonna touch it in the center but this is the cool part you can always kind of right now already measure four finger long soft and squishable and you can just attach it here yep you can just do, do that and then you're gonna go and put your balloon right here so when you have that the idea is this balloon is gonna go all the way through this loop so you pass it all the way through this loop and you're gonna measure a because this is a design that's gonna have long wings so you're gonna measure this piece approximately eight finger long and then the rest is just gonna go around the blue the blue the, the purple this part so it's gonna go around soft and squishable because you have this balloon inflated with a uh, we like remember three or four finger tail so it's gonna be good enough if you think hey what happened this disappeared this piece it's fine you just leave it there then you can put it back now you're gonna do what you did here but the opposite now we're gonna start this way going around this purple around and then going through this loop bigger and then we make a loop and go back to here so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's go around. And the idea is you have enough to go all the way inside here. Oh wait, I twisted and I didn't have to twist it. Why I complicate myself sometimes, I don't know. Did I twist it? That's dummy, right? From my side. You, you didn't have to twist it in the middle. Sometimes I, I want to think that you are learning from my mistakes. And that's why I don't believe that part. Because I want you to see if you do this, what not to do. Because then you're going to start wasting time. So forget this piece. And we are back here and the idea is this goes around and then just go through you you go through there so you go around pass it through cool and while you are doing that it's kind of like measuring the same size you will have enough to have the same size wins remember things doesn't have to be perfect you just do your best so when you are here if you don't know you don't have a tip enough you can always grab make a little bubble if it's easier for you and attach it then to this piece but if it's not it's fine I'm gonna just grab the tip usually you will have a tip there and then you just connect it in the center finally when it pass all the way through okay then you have something like this let me see let me see because we were accommodate then you just accommodate things I'm gonna show you and you will see how it's looking now the cool part about this is that you can always put it in between and bend it 
because it was a soft and squishable bubble so it's gonna have a body more like the shape of a worm and there's the design remember this can be shape it attach it there so whatever you prefer is looking better but that's the idea then make sure your hair is out of the design and then when you're here look how it looks when i just go with these two balloons you have this so that means if you want this to stay as the face you can always grab this piece the tail and put it here okay if it's not this now i'm going to show you how it will look if it's not now these wings you can always bend it and make some other you know cool shape like this okay that's another idea when you have this and um let's see what happens if you want it with an extra balloon scrap so you go back this right here you have this already i like to connect it all the way there okay now things of course here you can we can play different ways but even here we can put probably a pinch twist i don't know um i was just finding the idea that this is kind of free and it's bended something you know so it kind of have this type of body more like curve when you look at this way in, in case kids want to play i don't know oh man i just wanted to share this idea um so there you go and then the balloon scrap you just have it ready and attach it in the center with practice, I'm sure this design is going to be a really good choice. I hope so. When you have this, then it's Sharpie time. And now the eyes, and you can use the stickers, but I'm going to show you how it will look with just a simple way. Eyes are going to be here this time. So I'm making one circle, another circle, a couple of eyelashes, eyebrows, and a smiley face. That's it. That's going to be a very cute butterfly. I think it's simple and believe it or not it's fun <laughs> to make it let me think i complicate myself i know but i think it's also fun to do that because when you're at the event if you already complicate yourself by practicing then there is going to be even more clear you will have already mm, you remember from mistakes from okay this way is going to be more elaborated better avoid it go this other way so now that i already made this a couple times what will happen when I'm in an event? So I'm going to show you. I uh, will be in an event. I will choose. Um, let's try with other colors. So I'm going to probably be choosing three colors. And it's going to be these ones. I'm going to be choosing this color for the butterfly. And I take it out. I, You know, and then I know how pink usually going to be the wings. And I inflate it almost all the way. Leaving three fingers approximately. So you have the idea. Usually when I'm at events, I'm not measuring. I already kind of like figure it out, you know, how long is the balloon. Then I'm going to use uh, yellow and that one is going to be inflated like six finger long. So you see, I'm going to show you, but the idea is approximately this size. And then this one is going to be just half away. So you just grab it and usually you have a cutter, boom, it's going to be faster. Then you just inflate very little and this is a 260. Okay, with a 260 for antenna. So you just inflate two, two and a half or three finger bubble, split it in half, and then pass it. So you, this can have a pre-twisting again, you just decide. For me, I'm making it for so many years that kind of fast, good enough for me. I'm gonna start with this one. You make, um, look, I'm making a loop, but I know it was, a, a, it was had to be twisted in half. You see, like, like three or four finger, three or four fingers so you see then you just know what you're doing if in case you start with another way six finger loop six finger loop then you're gonna go up like two and a half finger and then two and a half finger bubble two and a half finger bubble and i'm just gonna i'm making it fast just so you can see like huh yeah doesn't have to be um taking too long then i make a pinch twist in the back and if i have this left over i'm gonna no pop it i'm gonna leave it there why not so i have something like this so far uh looking good then i'm gonna grab already my pink i'm gonna pass this around shoot and with this what i like to do is i'm going all the way look this is another way i didn't make the body what happened so i'm gonna 
three to this. I'm gonna pass it all the way. It's okay, it's not a big deal because I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna know that this is approximately eight finger long. This I'm gonna go to the center, go around, then go back, and then go this way. And then, oh, I remember I don't twist it. I just have to go through up, <laughs> through up. <laughs> and I, this is gonna end with exactly the amount to leave, like four or three finger long. And that is gonna be right in the center. So I will have all this to play. And now, after, you know, I just showed you the design, in the practice, this is what I'm having. And you can see, hmm, yeah, you're right. This is totally a line twist design. And it is colorful, it is cute. I will have this. If kids want it, I can put a sticker eyes. If it's not, just quickly, my black Sharpie, some small eyes, I two eyelashes, and a smiley face. And that's gonna be simple and easy. Look at this cute butterfly. And I think it's an awesome design. I like it. I like it. <laughs> And the kids too. Plus, when I'm in events, you can always, you know, grab this bubble, that bag, and attach the, what is this? A little wristband. Look, it's just gonna be there. Kids likes to have saved the balloons, free hands, they can still hold in drinks, food, and they have uh, their butterflies safe. I hope you like it. Please tell me in the comments, what do you think about this idea, this way to make? Don't you think it's a, it's a fun way? They have multiple different um, choices. But I think these colors also are really cool. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching my videos. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. All those things, liking, commenting, helps a lot. Also, a awesome way to collaborate with this channel is checking my Amazon wish list. In there, there's things that I found on Amazon that are really cool for me because if you notice, for example, I have a lot of things for 70 years old because I know I have an event that is for a 70 years old party. So if you can collaborate by getting balloons from that list, it's going to be helping my, my business. And that way also is helping the channel because it makes me feel like, oh man, I don't have to invest on in buying those balloons. And it's kind of like a balance. I mean, I think that's a good way to. Then another thing is... Most of the things I found there, and now I'm thinking, for example, there's a quinceañera, 15 years old. Well, I'm thinking, my daughter is turning 15 in May. May 29th, I'm going to make her her 15th birthday party. It's not going to be more like a quinceañera, super fancy and elegant and serious more. Um, no, she wants to go roller skating, but I'm planning to decorate, you know, a room for her birthday. She's inviting a couple friends to rollerblade, roller skating. So that's gonna be cool. And I have some, you know, things I found on Amazon. And if you can collaborate, buying those balloons is also helping this channel because whatever you do there, buying balloons from Amazon, on my Amazon wish list, totally motivates me, totally. Um, it's very well appreciated. And there's also a lot of things that I found there that can be a good ideas for you to get. As a balloon twister, balloon artist, you can find their ideas, like, and you can see where a balloon twister you kind of like, likes to have skinny balloons, round balloons, all type of balloons, markers, permanent markers, white markers, stickers, um, what is glue dots, and a lot of ideas around bigger balloons because now balloon decor, it's cool to do balloon organic because you play with different sizes of balloons. Uh, and those are more expensive, but at the same time, it's adding to your decor an extra value. So people admire more those things, okay? Uh, so also, it's a good advice. <laughs> This week is gonna be busy, so probably, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to make balloons as tutorials, but maybe as a blog. I'm gonna be sharing, you know, the things I'm doing. Tomorrow, I'm making two columns and a one centerpiece. I don't even have an idea what exactly it's gonna look like, but I hope it's gonna be something cool. So, in case I don't make videos, uh, you can always find me and follow my Instagram. I follow, you can follow me as Alpaca Global Balloons, or. You can also tag me if you make this design or any design that you learn by watching these tutorials. You can um, always tag me on Instagram as at Alpaca Global. And then I will see your design and I would love to uh, add it at the end of my tutorials. So you will see their pictures of people that, you know, make the designs by watching the videos. This channel, uh, 
has that cool thing now. So that's all. I think I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think so. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Happy Easter. Remember, there's lots of playlists and one of those playlists are really cool for this time that is coming the season of Easter or spring breaks. Um, and so, yes, there's also Mother's Day, I think, uh, playlist. There's um, for four of you live for, I don't know, summer designs. So there is a lot of playlists. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I think it's a very good idea. I'm leaving now. Ciao, ciao.